I'm going to show how to create a playlist in YouTube and then share that playlist so that you can put it onto a course on Canvas. So first of all, I'm in YouTube, I'm logged in as myself, and I have a video up here. On this video, there's a link, or directed below it I should say, that says Add To. You click that, you're going to see all of your existing playlists, if you have any. If you want to create a new one, I'll just go to the bottom here and I'm going to call this one Embed. And we'll create the playlist and it automatically adds this video to it. So if we want to add another playlist, or I'm sorry, another video to it, we'll go to that video. Pause it there, we need to listen. And I'll do the same thing, add to. This time, since I've already created the playlist, it shows up there and I simply select it. So I now have two videos in my playlist. To share it, I simply need to get to my playlist. This is one way to get there from the little, what do you call this on the left hand side, menu item. Um, playlists. Here are all my playlists in YouTube. I'll click on the one that I want. And much like on videos, there is a share button. So we'll click that. And I could get the link to send people to my playlist. What I'd rather do is get the embed code because I want to embed it onto a page. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep that size. I can change size if I want to. We'll leave it that size. I'm going to copy that. Now we will go to my course. Um, oops, I've already done this once, but we'll show you again. Um, here is a course in Canvas, a blank page. Simply says, here's my playlist. Let's edit it. And to add that embedded here, I need to switch views so I can paste in the HTML. There we go, paste it in. Save changes. And one thing you'll find in Canvas is when you add videos, oftentimes they don't show up right away until you refresh the page. Let me refresh. And now we should see there's the playlist. If I were to click the play or the play all, it's going to play through every video in that playlist. However, users can also go here to the playlist icon, and it's going to show all the videos individually for the playlist. They can click on it and um, play just the individual ones as they want. So it does give them the ability to kind of move around between the different videos embedded in that playlist.